On today's episode of Agave's Neighborhood, we encourage parents and kids to watch together to continue the conversation. Love Does Not Dishonor Others, Part 1. Tonight was a different night for our three helping heroes. This night was going to change their lives forever. Isa, Faith, Jace, and their families were having a game night at Isa's house. Everyone was having a blast. They were playing different games, dancing, singing, and some were there just for the food. After all the fun was over and the food was gone, everyone started gathering their things. While this is happening, Isa's dad received an urgent text message. Everyone stop, Isa's dad said, in a panic. What's going on, dear? Asked Isa's mom. Hurry and turn on the TV, Isa's dad said. This is ANN. I am John, here with breaking news. Kids, we need you to go to Isa's room quickly, please, said Isa's dad. All of the children went into Isa's room very confused since they could not watch. I wonder what they're looking at, said Jace. Yeah, me too, said Faith. It felt like time was going by so slow, but eventually Isa's mom called all the kids into the room. When they entered, all the adults had a sad look on their faces. What's wrong, Mama? asked Isa. Well, kids, um... Everyone have a seat first, said Isa's dad. Isa's dad took a deep breath. There was a little boy who was walking home by himself tonight from the store. He was wearing a hoodie and someone called the police on him because he looked suspicious. What does suspicious mean? Asked Jace. Suspicious is a feeling that something is wrong or that someone is behaving wrongly, said Isa's mom. Well, how is he acting suspicious if he was just walking home? Asked Faith. Unfortunately, we live in a time where people will lie on you based on your skin color said Isa's dad. So what happened after the police were called? Isa asked. Well, the police approached him and questioned him, said Isa's dad. The little boy tried to tell them what happened, but they didn't believe him. He even tried to show them his receipt, but the police claimed they thought he was going to hurt them. And well, let's just say he ended up getting hurt really badly. Thankfully, there was a bystander. Well, what's a bystander? A bystander is someone who witnessed the situation but does not get involved, said Isa's mom. How come the bystander didn't help? asked Faith. In this situation, especially dealing with cops, you have to be very careful, said Isa's mom. There are a lot of cops who don't do the right things, so you have to be very careful in how you help. Even though the witness did not get involved, they recorded the whole thing on their phone and shared it with everyone. Oh, goody! said Jace. Those cops will be in big trouble now. Not quite, said Jace's mom. There have been other similar stories like this and nothing happened to those officers. What? said Faith. That's not fair at all. I know, honey, it is not fair at all, said Faith's dad. We have to remember, though, God is with us even in the bad times. God asks us to put everything in his hands and he promises us that he will take care of it. We must not act out in anger, but pray to God. The little boy might not get justice now, but God will handle them in his timing. Let us pray. Isa, Faith, and Jace had a long night. They could not stop thinking about what happened. The next day after school, the three of them met up. Guys, I am still in shock about what happened last night, said Faith. Yeah, same here, said Isa and Jace. I don't trust cops anymore 
said Jace. I mean, how are we supposed to after what they did to that little boy? Hello, thank you for calling the Here Helping Hotline, said Jace. How may we help you? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, we'll be right there, Mr. Karan. Guys, Mr. Karan and Mrs. Jocelyn need our help with Beyond the Walls. Aw, I can't wait until Mrs. Jocelyn has her baby, said Faith. Okay, guys, let's go. One, two, three, let's help our community, they all chanted. Hi, Mr. Karan and Mrs. Jocelyn, said Eza, Faith, and Jace. Hey, kids, said Mrs. Jocelyn. Thank you so much for coming out to help us get ready for Beyond the Walls. No problem, Mrs. J, said Jace. Now, I need you all to help make toiletry backpacks for the homeless, said Mr. Karan. What are toiletries? asked Isa. Toiletries are items that one needs to help them take care of their body, such as soap, lotion, washcloth, a toothbrush, and toothpaste, said Mr. Karan. Oh, gotcha, said Isa. Now, one person can open the backpacks, another can fill the backpack, and the other can close them up and add a resource Lego on the handle. Said Mr. Cron. If you need anything, we'll be right over there, said Mrs. Jocelyn. No problem, Mr. Cron, said Jace. All right, guys, let's get started. While Isa, Faith, and Jace are working, Mr. Cron ran to them. Guys, I am so sorry, but we have to leave, he said. Mrs. Jocelyn is about to have the baby. The baby? exclaimed Faith. I am so excited. So am I, said Mr. Cron. I have called my friend over to be in charge, you guys, until you finish. Here he comes right now. Guys, this is my friend, Mr. Ray. Hi, Mr. Ray, they all said. You'll be in good hands, said Mr. Cron. If you need anything, ask Mr. Ray and he will help you. Bye, guys, and thank you so much for helping out. Bye, Mr. Cron, he said. We'll be praying for you both, said Isa. After Mr. Cron and Mrs. Jocelyn left, Mr. Ray came over to see what the kids were working on. What are you guys working on? asked Mr. Ray. We are putting toilet trees in these backpacks to give to the homeless, said Faith. Oh, that's awesome, kids, said Mr. Ray. We do that at my job. I love giving to those who really need it. Cool, said Jace. Where do you work, Mr. Ray? Well, I am a police officer. Isa, Faith, and Jace froze in fear. Family discussion. Number one. Why was this night different for Isa, Faith, and Jace? Number two. What does suspicious mean? Number three. Was the little boy wrong for trying to show the police his receipt? Number four. If you were that little boy, what would you have done? Number five, what is a bystander? Number six, What do you think the three heroes are going to do now that they know that Mr. Ray is a policeman?
Remember, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 through 7. To find out what happens next, make sure to tune in June 8th at 7 p.m. Also, in the next episode, the winner of the Agape Neighborhood Contest will be revealed. Oh, <laughs> my